We were talking about the iPhone and how Apple has cut the price of iPhone 4S and reworked its strategy for India. Priya, take us through what's, what's really going on. So as I was saying earlier, the iPhone 4 is now av available for about 22,900. So, you know, I was telling you, iPhone 4 basically has lost ground in markets like US and Europe because mm. <coughs> everyone's looking at the higher end phones there. But <coughs> just to take you through uh, how, what kind of demand it's seeing in India, remember that India is a price sensitive market and with the increasing number of EMI schemes, the increasing number of uh, buybacks that I, I Apple is offering, a lot of Indian buyers are rushing to buy the iPhones uh, that are available at a lower rate. In fact, Gartner has said that iPhone 4S is the volume driver at the lower end mm. uh, of the band. And you know, I was looking at some of the sales figures as far as India is concerned and Apple has over the last two quarters seen an exponential increase as far as sales are concerned. In fact, in the last quarter, it had reported overall India sales of about 200,000 mm. uh, devices. So clearly, with these kind of schemes, we can only expect um, the curve to get uh, but Priya, higher. You know, the interesting thing is Apple, of course, A, is not calling it a relaunch. And B, you know, I was looking at the Apple website a little while earlier. In China, they're still offering the 4S at the same prices that they were selling it in India last year, which means they're not offering any discounts. Mm. So we understand this, you know, they're just doing this to get rid of the excess stock that they have because they're not manufacturing but, but any you, new 4Ss. But all the, the, the buyback, the EMI is a very typical India story, isn't it? It's a very typical India story and Apple is jumping onto the bandwagon because all the others have also introduced the whole zero interest right. and EMI schemes.